put your ass cheek in, you put your ass cheek out, you put your ass cheek in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Yeah, you put your other ass cheek in, you put your other ass cheek out, you put your other ass cheek in. Shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you shake it all about. Yo, what's up, guys? Long time no here. Oh my god, look at my hair. I can't believe it. It's like, uh, it's like 7 a.m. I did a video for you guys yesterday and I had the thing plugged in the whole time, like my, my thing that plugs into the radio. So it never picked up my voice. So I like, uh, you sometimes I don't even replay them back. Uh, I'm glad I did with that one because I would have posted it. I happened to play it back. I'm like, why is there no sound? And then I realized it was like 12 minutes of me like blah, 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 and for nothing. But I enjoyed myself and that's all that matters when it comes down to it. But uh, yeah, I haven't talked to you guys in a while. Haven't, uh, haven't had much going on. I'll tell you what, I'm in the Northeast uh, I'm down near Philly right now. That's we'll get into that. Down near Philly right now, it's like raining ice, and we got a big storm coming up near my distribution center. So I'm hoping to get back. I have another load, but I ain't taking it. I'm hoping to just make it back because it's gonna be. They're like shutting down highways. It's like a big to do. But anyway, how about them? Speaking of Philadelphia, how about them Eagles? Holy snikers! Who saw that coming? That's great. You know, if you watch my stuff, I'm a Cowboys fan. Well, most of my friends and family are Eagles fans, so I'm happy for them. And what a phenomenal game. You know what I mean? What a fun, phenomenal game. I mean, the defenses didn't really show up, but um, actually, you know, everybody's giving New England defense a hard time, but I think freaking Foles was just like cutting them in there. But there were some wide open passes for both sides, but it was a good game, high scoring game. So I'm happy for them guys. You know what I mean? They rallied. Good football team. Your 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 lead man goes down and they rally and win. You don't see Cowboys doing that. Tony Romo goes out, pfft, whole season shot. Oh, Zeke LA, ah, six games to spend pfft, shot. Like, oh, we can't win. You rally, man. And Eagles did. Of course, you know, uh, if you know my story too, I'm from Philly and I'm I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan. But the Eagles fans, if you're an Eagles fan, you guys showed why I'm not an Eagles fan again. You're like flipping cars and woo, we won. <laughs> I don't get it, man. That's all right. You know, teach his own, but I can't be a, I can't be an Eagles fan. I can't hang out with that, man. You know what I mean? Believe me, I catch a lot of shit for it. So we'll talk about that. Another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about and you know what? I want some input. And um, you guys are going to think I'm crazy. You're going to think I'm not. Still here with Schneider. Almost here a year now. I got like a month and a half left. And I've done a, I've done a year. So, um, and if you guys know my story and watch some of my other videos, my goal was in April, I wanted to quit and do my food vending business. And, um, you know, now I'm starting to get a little worried. I'm starting to get scared. Because let me tell you, I've run businesses before, or I had, I've not run, I've run businesses before, I want to sound like that. I had a landscape business before. And this year I've been doing this has been the first year in a long time. Usually I get a job in the winter and I was doing my landscaping food stuff in the spring, summer, and fall. But this year I put it on a back burner to learn how to drive one of these trucks. And, uh, you know, it's nice on Friday getting that check. You know, it's nice on Friday leaving work and, and not worrying about anything. Like, yo, man, that's your business. You know, I don't like having bosses, but it's been nice. So come April to give up that steady check and uh, to dive back in. Because, man, when you own your own business, man, that's what you think about. You're always thinking about it, man. You know, making money, getting money. Where am I going to go now? What am I going to do? How am I going to, you know, marketing? It, it just doesn't stop. And, uh, so there, there's, uh, you know, there's good and bad to everything. So it's nice being your own boss, but the whole time you're worried about every little aspect of what's going on. 
and your mind's constantly thinking about money, which I don't like to be. So now I'm starting to get worried and I kind of like this trucking thing. So really what I want, I want to find is weekends off so I can do these big events, um, which I kind of have here at Schneider. If you guys have been watching this dedicator out, but it's 45 minutes from my house and I want to get a new job. I got a year now. Um, I want to go kind of more like an hourly thing. I want something by my house where I'm definitely home every day. Uh, and I want to make more money. I've done my time. I've done my year and now it's time to get some more money. So make a long story longer. You guys are gonna think I'm nuts about thinking what I'm doing. I'm gonna give you two reasons why, why I wanna do this. One, the money's decent. Two, the hours are good. It's every weekend off and every holiday off. Now you do have to pull a weekend day if the holiday, say July 4th happens on a Wednesday, then you might have to come in uh, one day on, on the weekend. But, you guys are going to, and hey, give me some feedback. If you're like, Jay, you're nuts. Don't do it. Um, I'm thinking about driving a garbage truck. Oh, shit, I said it. I am, man. I I'm thinking about it. The company that, that I I'm doing, like, like I'm talking to, um, the hours are good and the money's good, and the hours are what I'm looking for. Um... So I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, you know, I know the driving's going to be way different. Like, I ain't going to have time to sit and do videos. You know what I mean? But the money's good. You know, yeah, I'm going to be moving and, and uh, I'm going to be more in tight spaces. Uh, but it's going to be a smaller truck. Right now I'm driving a 72-foot vehicle. Uh, obviously, that's going to be a lot shorter uh, maybe more, a little more physical work, which I'm not afraid of. Um, but I would imagine, I didn't ask him this. I imagine somebody might go with me. So I might be with somebody all day, which if you guys been watching me too, I probably work better alone. It's either my way or the highway. And that's why I like about this driving stuff. You know, you're on your own, you do it your way. Nobody pretty much bothers you for the most part. So, um, that's my, uh, that's my thing, man. That's what I'm thinking about doing. And a lot of these other companies, a lot of, a lot of the other co companies, you got you. some of you guys might comment, Jay, man, you can get a Monday through Friday weekends off doing no, uh, other stuff, uh, driving like a day cab. And I have looked at them and I've talked to a lot of them. A lot of, most of them are, are, are 12 hour days. Um, so 60 hours a week. And, and it's kind of, you know, it's 60 hours a week, and, and most of them that I've been talking to are like, well, you should get most weekends off, you know, which means, you know, uh, you know, they're leaving the door open to, to screw you, you know. Um, I went for a yard, I looked at a yard jockey job. Another, another thing is, you know, the hours are great. It was two to 10 Monday through Friday. I went in the interview. You guys might see my, my, and then it was like, well, you do have to do mandatory overtime and, and, and all most everything's busy, especially around here in the spring, summer and fall, especially the summer. So the time to like go out and really enjoy your life is the time with most company and most people, you know, you, you, the business get, businesses get busy. So, and that's the time I really want to do my, my, my kettle corn and lemonade business on the weekends, these fairs and festivals. Um, you know, if you watch some of my other videos, I mean, in a weekend I can pull in, sometimes I can pull in three grand doing kettle corn and lemonade for the weekend. Uh, now if, that was every single weekend. I wouldn't even be driving a truck. I'd be, just, but it's so hit and miss. Uh, you know, you might get like 10, 10 events that are really good for the year. But if it rains that weekend, it's done. Um, so anyway, so that's the the that the garbage, that garbage truck stuff, is pretty much. I like it because you get your route. You know what you're doing. You know, you know what you're doing on Wednesday. The roots are really most likely, from what I understand, maybe some of you guys, they're, they're pretty much the same. Uh, 
You know, the guy told me, he said, hey, you know, in the beginning, your roots are going to be slower, but the better you get, the, the faster it's going to get. And, um, you know, you, you know, I want to be able to count on when I start work and when I get off of work. Okay. And I, in trucking, that's very hard. And I understand that. Like, I get it. Like, you never know when you're going to back into a dock and they're going to take an hour. And so it's very hard, even when you're home daily, uh, it's very hard to schedule anything else. Like even a Monday through Friday gig, uh, when you're trucking, you know, don't like schedule karate on Tuesday nights at five o'clock or don't like, say you want to take guitar, guitar lessons. Don't schedule your guitar. Le like Monday through Friday, that's it. You're working. Um, you know, I like to do so many different things. Uh, I have so many different things I enjoy doing. You know, I love going to the gym. Uh, you know, I've actually signed up for some, I, I, I do triathlons and marathons and, and I've signed up for a couple of them. So I think that the garbage route thing is more of a steady, uh, uh, thing. Um, so we'll see, but I'll keep looking, but that's where I'm leaning towards, man. That's where I'm leaning towards. I don't know, man. Uh, maybe I'm screwing up, but you know what? That's the beautiful part about me having a CDL in the Northeast. Like I said, I've said, I don't know how it works out, but if I get this garbage truck, especially after I get this year and I don't like it, I'll go somewhere else. Um, and I know some people, well, you'll be known as a job jumper around here. They don't care. You know, you don't even have to fill out an application. You show them your CDL. They run it, man. No freaking you're hired. Let's go. Come on, drive, drive. Um, I got a guy, uh, I got a buddy who's been in this trucking thing for like 20 years. He must have had eight jobs in the past six months. Like he can't find one they likes. Like he drives and they piss him off and he just quits. And, but I mean, he's a little, you know, he wants what he wants when he wants it. And that ain't trucking, you know? Um, so anyway, guys, glad I got to talk to you. I'm almost at 15 minutes, you know? Leave comments. That's, you know, uh, if you have some, uh, 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 what is it, like criticism, cool criticism, or, or you know, uh, or whatever. Leave some comments. If you have any questions, too, uh, you know, give them a call or uh, text. I'm losing my train of thought here. I'm going to go now, then. I think that would be best. I think that would be best for everyone. All right, guys, be safe out there. I hope I'm safe. Believe me, I'm praying. I, I like their prayers when I'm like, God, please help me be safe. And yo, man, I actually did prayer for everybody else. So I was like, help all the art truckers be safe today. It's gonna be a, it's like, it's raining ice right now. That's what it's doing. It's raining, but it's ice that's coming down. It's not, it's not rain, it's ice. Very dangerous. I should probably park till tomorrow. But I want to get back to my distribution so I can go home and, you know, take care of my house. I got to clear all that out. I got dogs. I got a wife. She needs to get out. You know what I mean? She's a teacher. Her, everybody, everything's going to be all ice and snow and shit. I want to be home for my family. Take care of that shit for them. Well, no, we'll be out here for Schneider. Oh, well, Schneider comes first, then my family. No, I don't work that way. My family comes first, then Schneider. See how it works? It's dangerous out here. You shouldn't be driving a freaking tractor trailer around. No, you shouldn't be doing it. Uh, I'm getting off track. All right, I got to go. Bye.